Yo guys, what's up, it's Crips, and welcome to another Destiny 2 fashion video. So today I'm showing you my favourite fashion sets that I made during Season 13. And I'm basically going to be selecting one set to show you all from each of my fashion set videos made this season. Now if you're new to the channel and don't know what my fashion set videos are, I basically make Warlock, Hunter and Titan set videos where I show off three of my own sets and then some winners from the Discord. So yeah, I thought this would be a nice type of video to close the season off. But yeah, without further ado, we're just going to get straight into the video. So throughout the whole of Season 13, I made 11 fashion set videos. 4 for the Hunter, 4 for the Titan, and 3 for the Warlock. So because I'm selecting one set from each video, I'll be showing you all 11 sets in this segment of the video. So I'm going to start with the Hunter as it is the most popular amongst my community, then the Titan, and then the Warlock. So you go and skip ahead if you just want to see those. So from Hunter fashion sets number 18, this purple and gold set here uh, was my favourite out of all the sets in that video. And if you do want to see these other sets, I will leave the links to the other videos in the description. But yeah, the armour I used on this set, the Lucent Knight Helm ornament from the Dawn and Eververse, the arms used the Celestial ornament from this season's Eververse, the chest of Raiju's Harness Exotic, the boots of the Empyrean Cartographer ornament from the Eververse Archive, and the cloak is the Vernal Growth ornament from the Revelry event. And then the shade that goes over the whole set is Cass's Treasured, which was from the Prestige Leviathan Raid, which is no longer in the game. But overall, I absolutely love like, the flow of the set. Uh, the glow matches perfectly well together, but I do think it's mainly the Vernal Growth. I do use this a lot in my own personal sets, as I just highlight like, how the cloak wraps around the neck, and then has a nice gold outline around the top, and these little clip bits on the shoulder. Um, it's really nice, the overall design of it. So moving on to the next set from Hunter Fashion Sets number 19. This is an Armatura set. Um, I absolutely love this set. It's one of my favourites I've ever made. It's very different uh, from the norm that I see from like most Hunter sets. So yeah, as for the helmet, I used the Iron Troy Charm from Iron Banner. The arms of the Empiric Cartographer Ornament from the Eververse Archive. The chest plays the Pyrrhic Ascent from the new Trolls of Osiris Armour. Boots are the Celestial Ornament from this season's Eververse. And again the cloak is the Vernal Grove Cloak from the Revelry event. Then the shade that goes over the whole set is Armatura which is from the season of the Chosen Pass. I just love how everything flows so well together. There is an unshadable gold on the helmet, cloak and the Imperian shoulder plate and I just love how it turned out. It can work really well like in a full black and gold with like golden trace as well. And a lot of people surprisingly really like this set so yeah that's why it's been featured. It's one of my personal and one of your favourite sets of mine. Then moving on to Hunter Fashion number 20. Now this I would arguably say is the best one of the one I'm showing to you all uh, this season for the Hunter. I just love the whole flow of this set and the fact that I managed to use the Orpheus Rig ornament. So as for the armour, the helmet is the Exodus Down Mask from Nessus Packages, the arms are the Insight Rover Grips from Legendary Engrams, the chest plate is the Chrysocreen Vest from Varax's Quests, basically just to complete the Beyond Light campaign, and you'll get a mini quest for all these pieces. Then the boots are the Orpheus Rig Exotic with the Forest Ranger ornament, and the cloak is the Wildwood Cloak from EDZ Packages. And then as for shaders, you want to use dead zone foliage on the arms, chest and boots, and then no shader on the helmet and cloak. And you could get dead zone foliage from opening EDZ packages. So yeah, it was meant to be like an EDZ ranger set. I think it turned out amazing. Um, I never used this ornament on the boots before, or at least not in a very long time. And I think with the bow as well, the whole set just flows perfectly well together. And that's why I just absolutely love this set. And in my final hunter set from Hunter Fashion number 21, the most recent, is an Abyssinian Gold Bacris set as you can see here. It takes a lot of what was used in number 20 and turns into like a Bacris scavenger set. So the helmet is the Mask of Bacris Exotic, the arms are the Wild Hunt Grips from the Season of the Hunt Pass, the chest the Crust Cream Vest from Varactus Quests, the boots are the Legtus Ornament from the Season of the Chosen Pass, and the cloak is the Wildwood Cloak from EDZ Packages. And then the shade over the whole set is Abyssinian Gold, which can sometimes be sold in the Bright Dust store. And this shader is currently being sold this week, so I definitely pick it up while you still can. I mainly just used it because I really needed to make another Bacris set, as I don't really make too many of them, and I hadn't made one in a long time, so I thought that would be like a good set to make. And I think it looks alright. To me, it's not the best of the four here, but I still think it's a really nice set. So now we're going to be moving on to the Titan sets. So the first one here is from Titan Fashion Sets number 8. Uh, this is the Icefall Mantle set, it's a nice blue. 
So as for the armor, the helmet is the Iron Wilhelm from the Iron Banner, the arms are the Iceform Mantle Exotic from Legend of Master Lost Sectors, the chest plate is the Celestial Ornament from the Eververse this season, the boots are the Christ the Queen boots from Valkyrie's Quests, and then the mark is the Lucent Night Mark Ornament from the Dawn in Eververse, and then the shade that goes over the whole set is Resilient Laurel, which is from the Brightest Store during the Dawning event. But I made quite a few recently, like a lot of Icefall sets, which I'd say is arguably better, than the one I've shown here but I think I'm starting to get like a hang of using the Icefall now so I think you're going to see a lot better Icefall sets from me in the future so now moving on to the next set is from Titan Fashion number 9 so I took a lot of what I like from the last one which was the Celestial Ornament with the Iron Wilhelm and sort of made like a bone Titan set so as for the armor we're using the Iron Will pieces on the helmet and arms the chest plate we're using the Celestial Ornament from this season's Eververse. The boots are the Dune Marchers with the Hipwad Ornament. And the mark is also the Celestial Ornament from this season's Eververse. And then the shader that goes over the whole set is Gambit Suede, which was from Gambit during the Forsaken expansion. But yeah, it's a nice really like bone colour set. That was the whole point. And I think it all just flows so well together. You could possibly just use better boots than the one I've used here. Um, I didn't really use Dune Matches because it was highly requested and I haven't made a Dune Matches in a long time but you can probably find some of the matches even better um, just some normal ornaments or legendaries because the only thing I really don't like about this set is where the Dune Matches are it's like black underneath the armor which doesn't really suit the under armor of the Celestial chest plate but overall I think it's a really nice set then the next one is from Titan Fashion number 10 it's with the Peacekeepers uh, mainly because I've never really used the Peacekeepers in a fashion before and I actually really like the outcome of this set here. So as for the arm I've used is a Lux Helm ornament from the Eververse Archive. The arms are the Virtuous ornament from the Season of Dawn Pass. The chest plays the Moon Fanex 7 from the Prophecy Dungeon. The boots are the Peacekeepers Exotic. The mark is a Lux Mark from the Eververse Archive. And the shade is Iron Mossbone from the Season of Undying Iron Banner. So yeah, I really just wanted a nice white and gold to go with the Peacekeeper. It's not like a proper gold, it's more of a lightish colour. Uh, mainly because I needed it to match with the Moonfang chest plate. Because that is an unshadable yellow. And you don't want something too dark, otherwise the yellow will pop too much. And, and wouldn't look right with the set. I just really love the design of Moonfang and that's why I wanted to try and stick with it here. Although the Sunbreaker chest plate would also work really well on this. And I was surprised at how good the Lux Helm looks on this sort of armor. So anyways moving on to my final and favorite of the ones I picked is from Time Fashion number 11 and we have a really nice Amethyst Veil set here. So the armor for the helmet is the Across the Queen Helm from Varactus Quests. The arms are the Lexi of Gauntlets from the Deepstone Crypt Raid. The chest plate is the Celestial Ornament from this season's Eververse. The boots are the Dune Marchers with the Hipwada Ornament. And the mark is the Lux Mark from the Eververse Archive. And then the shader that goes over the whole set is Amethyst Veil, which drops from Eververse Engrams and can sometimes be sold in the Brightest Store. But yeah, you can use the normal Dune Marchers in this. The only issue is that you're not going to get the nice purple glow throughout the whole set. And if I was to update this, I might put the new Guardian Games glow and mark for the Titan. But yeah, they are pretty much my Titan sets. And now it's time to move on to the Warlock. And we will have more Warlock sets at the end, as I will be announcing the winners from the Discord. But anyways, we have three sets here. The first one coming from Warlock Fashion Set number 9. My aim here was to match the Crown of Tempest ornament with the Steeplechase, creating a really nice white and bone set. So as for the arm I used, I used the Crown of Tempest Exotic with the Diadem of Deceit ornament. Now this is from the Eververse. The arms are the Moonfan X7 from the Prophecy Dungeon. The chest is the Steeplechase ornament from the Season of the Hunt Pass. The boots are the Legatus ornament from the Season of the Chosen Pass. And he bond is the steeplechase ornament from the season of the hunt pass. Now these shaders, you want to use Gambit Suede on the helmet, Precursive X Chrome on the arms and chest, Callus is selected on the boots, and no shader on the bond. So yeah, overall I absolutely love the look of the set. I paired it with Illumina as I thought the colours were just perfect. And yeah, I found the Gambit Suede to be one of the only light colours to really match the steeplechase bone colour. But anyways, that's pretty much the set. Now the next set is from Warlock Fashion Sets number 10. Now this is a really nice set using the Nezrak Sin Exotic. So the arm I'm using the Nezrak Sin with the Afraid of the Dark ornament on the helmet. The arms are the Pyrrhic Ascent Gloves from the Trials of Osiris. The chest plate is the Celestial ornament from the Season of the Chosen Eververse. 
the boots are the legacy elf boots from the Deepstone Crypt raid. The bond is the Lux ornament from the Eververse archive. And then as for shaders, you want to use Golden Trace on all the armor except the boots, and then Vintage Timber on the boots. And Golden Trace can drop from Eververse engrams. And as for Vintage Timber, this can be sold in the brightest store during this Sources of Heroes event. So yeah, I've made many Golden Trace sets in the past, but this has to be one of my favorites. Now moving on to my third and final set of this season I want to show you all it is from Warlock Fashion Test number 11 and it's this orange and white Warriri set here for the Warlock. At the time I didn't really see anyone use Warriri. So as for the armor I used the Lexi Oath Cowl from the Deepstone Crypt Raid. The arms of the Sunbrace is exotic from War Drops. The chest is a Siege Break ornament from the Season of Arrivals Pass. The boots are the Lexi Oath boots from the Deepstone Crypt Raid. And the bond is a Seven Seraph bond from Legendary Engrams. And then the shade that goes over the whole set is Warriri, which drops from the Salvager Salvo Vanguard quest. But yeah, like I said, no one's really used that shader on many Warlock sets, and it also gave me an opportunity to pair it with the Sun Braces, which is an exotic I've seen more people use recently, and is a really nice looking exotic, so I thought to include it in this set. But yeah, they are pretty much all the sets I want to show from this season that I really liked. Next season when I do this, I will make it so that we're also gonna be included in the community sets. But as for this video, I did need to include the Warlock submissions, as this video does replace the Warlock sets I was intending on releasing. So now moving on to the winners from the Discord. So if you don't know every fashion sets video, I include four winners from the Discord, which will receive a title, which is exclusive to the Crips Discord server. And then I'll also have some honorable mentions for sets which are close to winning. And I highly recommend if any of you haven't joined already to go and join the Crips Discord server. The link will be in the description. I will be starting next season off with a Hunter Fashion sets. So all these sets are going to be Warlock as these submissions were just intended for Warlock sets. So anyways, moving on to the first Discord winner, we have Exegy with a really nice Seven Sisters set here. So the helmet is the Astrocyte Verse Exotic from War Drops. The arms are the Forbidden Visage Ornament from the Season of the Hunt Eververse. The robes are the Luminal Voyager robes from the Festival of the Lost. The boots are the Contender Boots Ornament from the Guardian Games Eververse, as well as the Bond with the Contender Bond Ornament. And then as for shaders, you want to use Seven Sisters on the helmet and robes, Rustberry on the arms, Amethyst Veil on the boots, and Metro Shift on the Bond. Now all these shaders can sometimes be sold in the Brighter Store, as well as Metro Shift and Amethyst Veil also dropping from Eververse Engrams. So yeah, it's a really nice set. Uh, Liminal Voyager and Astrocyte, I didn't think they'd work so well together, but as you can see here, they work extremely well with this Seven Sisters shader because of the nice blue. And I think the Astrocyte is pretty much the best exotic you can pair with the Seven Sisters because they give like the same galaxy effect to the armor. But yeah, overall, a really nice set, and congratulations on winning. Now, moving on to the second Discord winner, it goes to Ink Badassery with a really nice Fell Winter set. So, what they're using is the Fell Winter's Helm Exotic, the arms of the North Light Ornament from the Dawn and Eververse, the chest plays the Pyrrhic Ascent Vestment from the Trials of Osiris, and then as for the boots and bonds, they're using the Iron Pledge Ornament from the Curse of Osiris Iron Banner, and then the shade that goes over the whole set. Is Iron to Steel, which is from the Warmind Iron Banner, which is also no longer obtainable. But yeah, overall, the colors are just perfect. They match so well together, and I didn't think the Pyrrhic Ascent Vestment would look so good with the Felwinter's Helm, but it looks amazing as you can see. So, yeah, it's a really cool set. Definitely does give off the look of Felwinter, and yeah, absolutely amazing job on this set, and congratulations on winning. Then the third Discord winner goes to the Gluten Knight with the Scholar of Steel set. It's a really nice name for it. And quite fitting. I didn't see literally anyone give this any reactions and I don't know why because it's a really unique set compared to most I've seen in the game. Now moving on to the armor, the helmet is the Valkyrian ornament from this season of the Worthy Pass. The arms are the Far Seekers Reach which is a blue item so it's just a random drop. The chest plays the Lost Pacific robes from Titan Packages. The boots are the Frost Reach boots ornament from the Dawn in Eververse and the bond is the coronation bond from legendary engrams and in the shaders you want to use celestial dome on the helmet and arms gambit chrome on the chest and boots and burnished dreams on the bond now celestial dome can drop from eververse engrams and can sometimes be sold in the brightest store gambit chrome dropped from gambit gear and burnished dreams is a shader when dismantled in blue gear but yeah an interesting use including a blue shader and also a blue piece of gear here 
and it's just great how the whole set flows so well together with all the steel look to it and yeah the presentation of the set's amazing the look of it is super unique i really have not seen anyone use the lost specific robes so yeah congratulations on winning and getting your title now before we move on to the final discord winner i do want to give some honorable mentions to sets which i think were really good and close to winning so these go to crawl merciful conk tana roxanne and duck lord all these sets were really nice there were a lot of very unique sets and there was so many submissions in this it was very difficult to pick from because these submissions did go on for quite a lot longer than they should have but yeah i do want to say an extra thank you to everyone for participating as you all do help make these videos possible and yeah without further ado let's get straight into the final winner which goes to hinra with the set named singularity now it is a seven sisters set again but i just really like what he's used here so as for the helmet it is the ritual mask it is from legendary engrams and it was a part of the tangled show gear the arms are the solstice gloves the renewed version the chest plate is the starfire protocol exotic the boots are the celestial boots ornament from this season's eververse and the bond is the solstice bond the renewed version from the solstice of heroes and then the shader that goes over the whole set is seven sisters which can sometimes be sold in the brightest store but yeah i really like this set because of the ritual mask the use of protocol as well uh, two things which i never really see in fashion especially the tin ritual mask i never really see this at all and you've made it flow really nicely with your set here and starfire again anytime i've seen this it's normally in a dark set or a white and orange set so it's nice to see it in like a galaxy color as that is very different from the norm but yeah that's pretty much all the discord winners i do want to say thank you all so much for the incredible support throughout this season this channel has grown exponentially and i can't wait to see how far we can go next season with the addition of transmog and vault of glass i think it's gonna be a really fun season to come back into the game but yeah i have no idea how long this video is actually gonna be i do apologize if it's a bit lengthier than usual I did want a nice conclusion to the season and I am sorry that it's a bit later. Next time I'm going to have it so that this sort of video will be out at the start of the last week of the season rather than the very very end of the season. But anyway guys thank you all so much for watching and for any of you that have made it to the end. Consider leaving a like and subscribing if you did like any of the sets shown. And yeah stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.